Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be talking about fuse box safety and how to remove and replace the interior fuse box on a 2019 GMC Canyon. So the reason why I'm making this video is because I goofed up. During a modification to the fuse box using a fuse tap, I messed up one of the slots for that fuse right in front of you. As you will see in a moment, I totally messed up this slot on the fuse panel when I was testing for voltage using a multimeter to find a constant power and a switched power for my dash cam. So I used this multimeter that has a pretty fat prong on the end and I was using my key to test for switch power and constant power. But the prong on this multimeter is a little bit too fat to actually get all the way in. And as a result, I accidentally forced it into the slot, unknowingly damaging the fuse box. So here's a close-up of the slots on the fuse box. And I'll admit, all of that damage is not actually from me using the multimeter. It's actually from me trying to repair the slots so that the slot would actually hold the fuse temporarily until I got the replacement fuse box. So what actually happened was when I pushed that multimeter prong into the slot, it damaged those metal pins behind the plastic. So when I inserted the prong of my multimeter into the slot, it pushed the pins behind the plastic back and up, and then also it pushed plastic over them so that they were now deformed. So now those metal pins would no longer hold a fuse, and the fuse would fall out when I tried to reinsert it. Luckily, I was able to figure out how to remove the fuse box from the vehicle so I could work on it. The resulting damage to the surrounding plastic around that slot is what you see here. I used a pair of tweezers to insert down into the fuse box and try to bend those metal tabs back enough so that the fuse actually made full contact and stayed in the vehicle. I was eventually able to adjust those pins inside the slot enough to where it would hold a fuse in place, but it was significantly looser than any other fuse on the fuse box. So I ended up just ordering the new fuse box and just swapping it out. And that's what you see here. The new fuse box is on the left, the old fuse box on the right. Luckily, the part number was listed right on the fuse block itself. So I was able to order it online as a direct replacement. It even came equipped with all of the fuses and relays already so I didn't have to swap anything over from the old fuse box to the new one. So now let's take a look at how you actually replace this entire module inside the vehicle. Very important before proceeding disconnect your negative battery cable in your engine compartment. This will reduce any possibility of shorts happening in your electrical system. So the first thing you need to do is come onto the passenger side of the vehicle and underneath the dash along the kick panel, there is a removable screw and panel that you need to pop off. This reveals the fuse block that is attached to the vehicle's wiring. After revealing the fuse block, there are a series of levers that need to be squeezed and then also lifted at the same time. Um, and then the connector will pop off. So there's one connector with a white handled lever that needs to be removed, and then another connector with a blue handled lever on the front side of the fuse box. And you can see you just lift those levers up and the connector becomes loose. Next, you have to pull the fuse box off of its mounting posts. There's two clips, one on the bottom and one on the left. The one on the left is hard to see. You'll never really see it, but you can feel it if you reach around to the side. Once you push up on those clips, the fuse block should fall forward out of the mounting posts. Then there's another white handled lever connector on the back side of the fuse box that needs to be lifted up and removed from the fuse block. Now you can remove the entire fuse block from the vehicle. Reinstalling the fuse block into the vehicle is pretty easy. It's just the reverse of what you just saw. First line up the connector to its spot, then you will pull the lever back down and make sure it clicks into place. Then mount up the two tabs on the fuse block to the mounting posts on the body of the vehicle and push it into place. You'll feel it click and you'll hear it click as well. 
it's a little awkward to get it lined up and on those mounting posts because it's a tight area. But once you do get them lined up, the tabs will fall into place and hold that fuse block right where it needs to be. Then you can take your other connectors, line them up to their corresponding spots, then lower the lever locking the connector into place, making sure the tabs lock. Then take the other connector with the white handle, line up the connector, push it into place, and then pull the lever down and make sure those tabs lock in place. Lastly, you can install the cover for the fuse box. Just line it up on the kick panel, making sure it lines up perfectly with that mounting hole. Then take the screw and tighten it up to hold it in place. So the last thing I'll leave you with is um, just a little advice. Always be extra careful when working on modern vehicle electrical systems. Whenever you're modifying a vehicle, there's always a little bit of risk that you're going to break something. Um, just be extra careful when working on these electrical systems because they control so many features and safety functions that you may not be aware of. For instance, that fuse that I messed up was for the vehicle's turn signals, front and rear. Pretty important safety feature. Now, I will admit I got pretty lucky. The replacement fuse box was only about 75 bucks and it was really simple to replace. But if it was something more important that I couldn't do myself, I would have had to have the vehicle towed to the dealership and then paid a dealer technician to make a repair, which could cost me hundreds or thousands of dollars. So with that in mind, I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribed. And as always, stay tuned for more videos. Later.